and welcome back carpers as you can see from the little mini intro we are down at Norton Disney there's 41 of us um, as I said before we're down here for a social uh, Mad Bates uh, got the complex yeah there's 41 of us on um, we've done the draw um, not sure where I come I think come about 9th or 10th but I got the lake that I wanted to come on uh, I got on Turner's um, I've heard from I don't know if you know Norton Disney but Billy's is a bit of a runs water uh, average stamp of fish um, doubles I suppose maybe 20s but not really interested in that uh, you've got pets with the big fish but by all accounts it's been uh, fishing fairly hard so decided to come on Turner's uh, it's got a couple of 40s in here, a few 30s, and it's recently been opened. So my theory is, as it's been recently opened, I've got a better chance of a bite. So yeah, uh, bought the old house pellet, uh, 10 kilo. Um, got told that, well, you watch all the videos. Um, yeah, uh, <laughs> but lost words. But you can see from all the videos that they recommend the house pellet because they they feed, the, the carp in here are fed on them, so you'd be stupid not to go with it. Um, not sure what approach I'm gonna go for yet, but I've got some nuts and whites and uh, my array of mad baits pop-ups and wafters. Gonna give it a go. Let's turn this camera around, I'll show you a bit, bit of view of the lake. There we go guys, it's my swim. As you can see, it's a, uh, buried in water so this is the lake turn that ISO down there we go I have to bear with me carpers because um, as I said in my last vlog got a new camera and I'm just getting the gist of it so bear with me if it's out of focus the ISO is wrong and all this lot um, it's going to take some getting used to. But yeah, this is a peg four. As you can see, it's a little bit underwater. A bit muddy, a bit wet. So I'm going to stick the waders on. Right, let's roll that intro. Because I'm going to get set up. See you later, guys. And welcome back carpers. Finally, my rods are out, my house is set up. Show you my little, my little rods down there, look. Couldn't get down in that bit, because as you can see, it's just, yeah, it's flooded. So I'll stick my rods down there. But yeah, uh, I'll go through my little spod mix yesterday, but I literally put the uh, both sizes of the, let's take a look at this water. Yeah, I stuck both sizes of the pellets out. We've got eight mils and the smaller ones, I think they're two and a half or four mils. Um, stuck them together, probably put two kilo in a bucket, probably a kilo of nuts and whites in there. And I also stuck some nuts and whites boily crumb in there, mixed a bit of water in it, just dodge it up a little bit and basically chucked it out at, let me start at the beginning. Um, I had a little lead about um, out in front of my swim. I, it's, it's really clean, it's nice and clear. I uh, went down with a donk every time. Uh, 14 and three quarter wraps. Um, yeah, just found a nice bit of gravel. Um, so, yeah, for, you know, rather than keep leading the bow because it all seems nice and clear out there. Literally spotted out probably two, three kilo. Um, didn't put a lot out to be honest. I'll say two or three kilo. I'll say about 20, 25, 20 spoms over the three spots. And um, got them fairly close together. Um, but yeah, it was nice and clean. Went down with a fud. Uh, I'm going to play it by ear, see what happens with that. Um, change tactics tomorrow morning maybe 
Um, yeah, see what happens. It's all started raining again. But I don't know if you can see. Um, try and zoom in. Uh, there we go. Where all them coots are now. Basically, one to the middle of that, one to the a rod length to the left, and a rod length to the right. Literally all 13, 14 and three quarter wraps. We're going to give that a go. Got one three different, all, all on the runny rig on barbless. So there's a barbless rule there. Um, left hand one is on nuts, nuts wafter. Uh, middle one is on the nuts banana pop up, and the right one is on a. Oh, here we go. They've already been through my lines once. I'm going to go through them again. We're going to have them all night, are we? But yeah, my right hand rod is on uh, another pop up. Like I said, all on Ronnie Riggs. Uh, nuts Banana. Right, Nuts Banana on the left. No, Nuts Banana in the middle, pop up. Nuts Wafter on the left. And on the right hand, we've got a pink ISO cream. And to complement them, we've put a little pef mesh PVA bag of the uh, house pellet. Just a, just a little handful, not a lot. So yeah, I suppose I'll better do my old first impressions. So yeah, it's a, it's a nice, nice well-kept lake. Um, you can see they've done a lot of work here, a lot of planting trees and everything, and in, in a few years' time it's going to be a lovely water, well, a lovely complex. But yeah, you have a, you have a little gate, gate to come in couple of gates actually on the first gate you've got your little ticket machine obviously we didn't need to do that because we were already booked on and then you come through the main gate as you see at the beginning slides across and yeah you've got your your little tackle shop and you've got your little tackle van all sorts of quarter stuff in there your little tackle shop you've got all your end tackle and all your quarter luggage quarter yeah everything's quarter yeah, you've got nice little toilets. I forgot to say earlier, um, we'll have a little walk around tomorrow or maybe later, but i come down with a friend. Uh, I used to fish with him over in Brighton Sea, if you've been following me guys. I used to fish Brighton Sea. But yeah, he's, he's joined up with Mad Baits and he's, he's come on here with me. Um, couldn't get on the same lake together because I come out quite early in the draw and he come out second from last. But... He's on Pettis Lakes and he is literally a stone's throw away, right behind me. Um, we'll go and have a little chat with him later. But um, yeah, you'll see. Right guys, I'm going to stop waffling on and hopefully we're going to bag a fish. Right, tight lines everyone. Stay safe. Uh, good luck to everyone on the Mad Bait Social. Tight lines, see you later, bye. Hello carpers, welcome back, evening time now. I've uh, been a bit lazy on the uh, film in front. Um, it's been really, really windy and it's been raining again typically. So, but as I got up quite early this morning, um, half four, been having a little sleep for a couple of hours. But yeah, my buzzers have been going off because of the wind and the swans and oh, I've just been ignoring them basically. Well anyway, I got up for a, a little tiddle and I had my middle rod. Um, Bobbin was on the deck, so I sort of struck into it and yeah, we had a fish. Um, probably up a double, uh, there's a little picture there. Like I said, it was, it was raining and windy, so it was quite hard to do a picture, but I got my mate Darren to uh, do a little picture for us, so I didn't really do no filming of that. But I've had to sling it up at the minute. Um, it's got a big chunk missing out the side of it. It's like an otter's been to it, which is quite strange, because 
you all know Norton Disney MBO is all of fenced so um, trying to get hold of someone one of the bailiffs or the fishery to come and have a look see what they want to do with it so but yeah um, the fish are feeding on the old uh, see old nuts banana there we go been doing the trick the old runny rig but yeah um, cool what was that oh, I haven't put that middle rod back out because as I said before they've got them, got them fairly tightish and I don't want to disturb the swim um, and it's really windy I'm, I'm not going to get it back out there not where I want it anyway so I'm going to wait until the morning um, but we've had a fish right I'm going to see if I can get hold of anyone cook some dinner I'll see you in a bit see you later tight lines oh Another couple of fish have been out. Someone's had a 21 out of Billy's and a 17, I believe, out of Holden's. So that's, that's three fish I know of has been out. But anyway, tight line, stay safe. And good morning carpers, here we are, first morning on Norton Disney, well the rain did, the rain and wind did stop for a little bit and so I thought right, I'm going to get these rods back out, they're all going to go back out on the nuts banana and as soon as I decided to do that it started to rain again but at least the wind has stopped, I um, don't know if you noticed, the old uh, cart was gone back was back out of the sling. I uh, managed to get out of a bailiff last night and they said that that damage had come from underwater snags and from like when they were spawning and brushing up against it and everything but uh, hey ho. Uh, the fishery manager told me to put the fish back so put a load of carp care on it and put the fish back. Uh, not sure if I posted a picture of the, the mark on it but we'll show you now. There we go. But yeah, um, literally about to put all these rods back out because uh, as I said last night I left this middle one in didn't want to disturb the swim and I probably wouldn't have got there anyway because all three rods were on one spot so yeah um, uh, plan for today Oops, some guys has gone running over there has he got a fish? Same. Pegging it over there. Has he got one? Has he got one? No, he's come walking back. Look, I know them two boys over there did have a fish last night. Uh, not sure um, if anyone else has had any fish on on the complex. I reckon they have. Um, I'm not in the WhatsApp group, the old group chat, so I wouldn't know what's going on. But yeah, tactics for today. Um, when I first arrived, a lot of people did say yellow pop-ups, and I've caught on a yellow pop-up pretty much straight away. So, as I say, they're all going out on the nuts banana, which is old stock for mad baits. They do not sell them anymore. Um, unfortunately, but they are a wicked bait. I don't know if you can see my fingers and see all the yellow on it. That's literally just from putting the bait on the uh, on the on the screw. But yeah, it's looking promising for day today. Um, like I said, I'm gonna stick them all out on the yellow pop up. Um, Sit these little bags on of their their house pellet. Um, I've run out of funnel web, so I am gonna have to go to their tackle van and see if they've got any. I'm not sure what time they open, but 
I'm sort of holding back on putting these rods out so I can go over there and get some. But yeah, for the next 24 hours, I'm literally just, just going to stick to that tactic. I mean, I have got some other PVA bags, so I might just stick them out like a solid bag approach sort of thing. So a lot of people, sorry. A lot of people have said that the old solid bags work really well on here, so I may go down that route. But yeah guys, we've had a fish. Nice upper double. Um, hopefully when we catch some more we'll be able to get some better pictures and some videos. Um, hopefully the weather's going to die down. But until then, I'm going to cook some food, get these rods out, and I will see you later. See you later guys. Good mid morning to you carpers. Uh, no more fish to be had. Um, a couple of people um, I know have packed up. Um, I believe there's not been a great deal of carp out over the uh, four lakes. But yeah, um, I know a lot of people have said just fish bags and solid bags and all this lot but um, when I got here yesterday, uh, I spotted out a bit of bait, uh, chucked a little mesh bag out on with me uh, pop-ups and I had a fish. Um, I've had nothing since, so I'm going to do the same again. Um, against everyone's beliefs about, you know, spotting on here, spooks the fish, uh, it worked for me. And the geezer to my right, he spotted out a load of bait and he lost the fish last night, so it seems to be working for him. So going to talk about uh, you know the uh, bait that I've been going through um, you know the bait that's going into our spot mix so yeah start off we've got the house pellet there we go that's um, eight mil pellet as you can see there we go this camera that camera eight mil pellet that's been going in and also you know uh, this little four mil pellet. There we go. And some wicked whites and nut squat boilies. Know, there we go. 18s and 15s, uh, both both sizes, both flavours. They've been going in. And then they are boily crumb. Look. So yeah, they are boily crumb. So now it ends up nice and stodgy like this, look. There we go. Add a bit of water with it just to stodge it up. But you can see all the, uh, you know, the different bits in there. Uh, I'm not sure how much bait we got in there. Maybe about two, three kilo. Oh yeah, about two, three kilo. So we're gonna chuck that in. We're gonna sit on that. Cause it worked for me yesterday. Gotta stick to what works. Right, I'm going to get this out, you can watch me doing it if you like, and uh, I'll speak to you soon.
Good evening Carpers, going into our final evening, uh, just getting dark now, um, there's been no fish come out during the day um, on any of the lakes that I've heard of, definitely not on this lake, um, so we're all hoping, um, been chatting to people on my left and to my right, had a good old chat, and hopefully as soon as it gets dark we're going to start getting some fish, because that's when we had them last night when it got dark. We have seen a few fish boshing about um, from that little clip and you see that little tree line that I scanned across. Um, yeah there's been a lot of fish boshing out there. Um, that's, that's where they've been holding up all year apparently but that is a no fishing zone. Good morning carpers, as you saw from them last little clips it is absolutely freezing, I didn't get a wink of sleep last night, <coughs> oh it's not corona, yeah I didn't get a wink of sleep last night as it was quite cold, uh, one of the zips is broke on me uh, sleeping bag, has done for a while, but haven't needed to replace it or fix it because it's been quite warm, but yeah as you saw from them last little clips, uh, had our first frost, but it's lovely out there. No fish to be had, no liners, no beeps, no nothing. I reckon this, this temperature drop has just, just killed it off. Uh, I did say last night that there was a few fish boshing and we were feeling really, really confident, but that's fishing for you guys. But we've had one. <sighs> Bit of a manky one, but we've had one. Uh, as I said, didn't get no footage of it because it was peeing it down with rain and it was wet and everything. And we just, oh, I was more concerned about that big cut on the side of it, as you see in the picture. But anyway, that was a blank saver. I think that's one of one, two, three, three fish that's been out of this lake. So. Not too bad, I think there's only been like five or six fish out of the whole complex. So we're not doing that bad. All on the nuts banana. But yes guys, I have forgot to talk about the new things from Mad Baits. As you know, Mad Baits do four different flavours. They do the nuts, they do the whites, they do the asbo and they do the pandemic and I'm not sure if many of you may know but Mark from Mad Baits has now done pellets in two different sizes for each of the flavours that they do um, I can't quite remember the sizes they do it might be like 6 mil and 2 mil or 4 mil and 8 mil, something like that, I can't actually remember, but get, get yourselves over there guys and have a little look. Like I said, they come in two different sizes and they also come in two different size packs. So you could have them in a 3 or a 5. And you also get them with a bucket or in a bag. So get on over there guys. Um, they also are doing the Wicked Whites with a hint of strawberry. Now I can't wait to get my hands on some of them. Um, I haven't put an order in for a while because I've got a freezer full of bait still so but yeah I can't wait to try them because I love the whites and yeah I love the strawberry. So yeah they look they're absolutely smashing and I bet they smell lovely. Also guys keep an eye out because uh, Mark will be bringing out some more different pop-ups and wafters so yeah right I'm gonna turn this camera around guys just so you can have a little look at this water and you can uh, you know I bet you're fed up with seeing my little mug face right, let's turn this round and you can have a little look outside
Yeah, the water looks stunning. A little bit of a mist rolling through the top of it. But yes, guys. I'm not sure where I'm off to next. <laughs> Probably, although I've got a linear, Hunt's Corner for the Club Carp Social next month. I'm probably going to get down the uh, reserve for uh, another couple of sessions. Um, probably, n unless I have a decent hit of fish or you know a, a fish or something, I'm probably not going to um, video my next one. Well, I will video it, but I won't broadcast it. Um, I'll probably, I'll probably do two sessions down there before I go to Linear. So maybe I'll uh, do like. You know, I'll put one into a big block, like two or three sessions into one. Who knows? We'll, we'll see how it goes. But yes, guys, I'm going to sign off now. Hopefully we'll have a fish soon. If not, I'll see you later for a little outro. See you later, guys. Thank you very much. Um, didn't do an intro on the way home uh, as I forgot but I'm home now uh, and it's just a matter of getting everything dry um, just like to say a massive thank you to Nigel that organized this mad bait social and to all the people that came and all the people I met especially uh, Dan next door to me and the young lad the other side uh, it was nice chatting to you guys and it um, you know it bided our time you know it made the time fly and it, yeah, it was nice meeting and chatting to you. And guys, remember to like and subscribe to this channel and to like Jedi Carpa on Facebook and Instagram and we will be back down the carp reserve next time. Right, stay safe everyone, let's get prepared for this next lockdown. Well, by the time this comes out, we'll already be in lockdown so uh, just another thing, uh, keep an eye out for me a uh, Club Carp subscription box. I will be doing a, not a live unboxing, but I will open it up in front of you, so I will submit first hand like you will see it. Right, stay safe guys, tie lines. <laughs>